Hello, hello, YouTube cubes. I am back, and the green screen's still giving me trouble. I cannot figure it out. So I'm probably gonna go to a different program to fix that. In all honesty, I've tried everything to get that to stop happening right there. I, I just tried to fix it. I changed the lighting and everything like that, but man, every time I open to this point right here, it is the most frustrating thing. And if you wonder where I've been, I've been trying to fix all these things, and uh, it has not been going well uh, for some of it because, I don't know, the limits of technology, just my know-how, I guess. I went into the registry, I fixed the camera, so that shouldn't be gone. Anytime, anytime. It's like, I, I have no idea how to fix it. I, I've tried everything. I don't know what is wrong, what the color is, anything. And I lost my light behind me last time we were live on YouTube. Last time we were live on YouTube, um, this, this light down here I have that lights my background. It, um, sort of see, see the inside of it. It's a little dark there. That's because the bulbs start to set on fire. You know, like you do. But anyways, um, there will be another live show this week. It may not be on Thursday. It may come a little bit sooner and maybe not even at four o'clock. We'll be talking about the future of this channel, what I plan on doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, just, just things like that. Just th things like that. Uh, sort of the future talk of where I'm headed um, after taking a couple weeks here away from Twitch. More than a couple weeks away from Twitch. Uh, we'll be returning there tomorrow for a test stream. Because I have changed OBS and things like that. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, my green screen slides this direction for some weird reason. Can't fix that either. That's that's just a physical thing, but I can move it and it's gone. Look, poof, up in the corner, it's gone. Um, sorry, I need to stay on task here. We only got a couple hours to get all this done. So, um, today we're gonna open nearly 700, but. I didn't quite make it. My goal is actually only 650 envelopes, um, but we're closing pretty pretty far into that 700 mark of envelopes, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, and we're going to raise our magic find as high as we can and open them again. As much as people say that's a mistake, I don't know. I really don't know, but again, we'll talk about it. And then there's other stuff that's been going on, and I want to make sure if anybody shows up here live or in the future, you're watching this and you're like, what possibly could happen? Um, oh, am I today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. Th things are a little bit weird. Just give me a second here. Okay. Fixed it. I don't know why. Binary, hello. Um, okay. That's done, and let's bring up Guild Wars 2. Uh, um, there are things happening in the background. That green. Curses! Um, this will all change. I'm sorry I'm a little off today. Slept weird last night. Morning afternoon <laughs> but um anyways my master rank is 354 my cursor hello uh there it is 38,618 achievement points i'm surprised at myself let's move on get into the game so i can talk about things uh we'll start into vinny's reach here i wrote down everything because i want to make sure i cover as much of it as i can so the first thing we're going to cover is drms um if you do not know, they updated the DRMs on last Tuesday, and there's an event going on. You need to trade in at least five tokens to get the event rewards. Um, actually, yeah, I didn't want to be here, did I? Start it in Eye of the North. But let's just jump to the Eye of the North. So they introduced the Exalted to us. I have not done any DRMs, honestly. Um, I just don't find... What's the word here? I, I don't find it engaging. <laughs> and I've just been so busy with the Lunar New Year stuff and things like that. I'll grab that. Um, that I just haven't had time. But um, 
Calm in the Storm is still the thing, but there's 18 hours left on this to come get your rewards. Um, you just have to turn in five tokens to this person right here, um, buy some exalted supply boxes. And if you need tokens, you can buy them. Um, I'll just quickly buy this. And you're like, you wasted a bunch of gold. Don't worry about gold, okay? So you just get your marks. Um, this will give you the marks you need. And then I highly suggest buying the supply boxes. Why it has started doing that to me, I have no idea. Um, I'm going to ignore that karma for now. And then there's some other dailies you could do tonight. And I don't know, in a couple hours and get some more and things like that. You also need to open up 10 of these. I'm not sure I got to the 10 myself. Really? I'm so upset about this because I went ahead and converted tier 5s to tier 6, and now I have gotten over 30 of these from these boxes. Woe is me. First world problems. Um, but anyhow, the exalted stuff is here. Um, if you miss the old rewards, they put the Deldramore stuff over here. So if you have the general currency, Ebon Vanguard, Crystal Bloom... But if you have all the masteries unlocked, again, buy the new mastery as well. Scared me. Um, you can buy the discounted boxes over here. Um, and I finished the newest mastery. I, I don't know. I couldn't really see a difference because I haven't done the DRMs, but I did finish it. It might be bugged, too, because I finished it, but it wasn't giving me experience after the fact or something. It was something weird with it. Um, but I noticed that, but I didn't have time to check it out because I was just rushing to get it done type of thing. So I apologize I don't have more information, but if it's bugged or anything, I would report that. If it's not bugged and it's just me, then ignore all of that completely because sometimes I'm just too much in a rush or too tired to even notice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Divinity's Reach because we're going to go over all the AP stuff. So that's achievement points. Uh, we're going to go over everything right now, all at once. I'm not going to go down there because it's going to get extremely loud if I do that. At least in my ears. Hopefully, <laughs> the audio stuff is is fixed. Okay, um, so bonus events. These are the daily things. Again, this is how you can get more of the, the support marks that you can turn in. And then um, global rewards want to get all five tiers you turn in the five marks which is this you'll get three bonus boxes of goods which has all sorts of stuff in it and then you'll get uh banners and all sorts of things boosters that kind of stuff just like previous events we've had so um the experience was kind of buggy but after map pants relog got experience again uh it was only maybe only an animation bug okay good to know um I thought I saw it, but I haven't actually gone back out and checked. Even though I was going to check last night, I forgot and then logged out. Um, but okay, good. As, lo as long as it doesn't stay bugged or it's just that visual bug, which is common in games in this day and age, I've noticed. Um, we have 21 hours left of the New Year, Lunar New Year event. And so I just want to go over AP really quick and then we're going to talk about weekly rewards. Um, today is the last chance to get some of those. They refreshed, so I'm going to go grab some. I have a bunch of exotic luck, so there we go. So let's take one more look here. So tonight, here in about an hour and 50 minutes, the dailies will reset. So I'll be able to get one more mark on this, but I won't be able to get another 10 achievement point. So I'll be stuck at 80 here. Come next year, the first daily I finish, though, would give me 10 more. And then I would be able to finish this next year. The weapon chest, though, I believe I need about 6 or 7 more. Something like that. Um, so, yeah. Well, actually, I do know. I do know. I have 8. There's 16. 8 more. There you go. <laughs> Uh, eight more. I have finished everything else. The um, annual customs. Finished that up to 150 on there. I did finish all the annual achievements. Not too hard. In fact, I ended up finishing them on an alt account. And that's how I ended up with extra. Um, 
am I trying to say? Extra envelopes. There we go. It was gonna come to me. I need to do this one more time for some more little envelopes. I will buy the last 24. So I have two alt accounts in this account. 24 plus envelopes and open those tonight with less magic find. Um, I will do that still. So technically, looking at the number, I got pretty close to 700 envelopes this year. The number, I think it was 160 per account. Well, it was 168 technically, but 160 per account. That's 480 right there, plus all the extras. So, give or take. Maybe it was a little more than that. It was 176, I think is the total number that I had. Uh, this one right here. But my main account, I was doing the Celestial Vent. I was getting the extra... Uh, fragments of the tokens and converting those and things like that i did the achievements that kind of thing so i did no dragon ball this year was not interested and then the celestial challenger that one no this one favor of the celestials three more divine lucky envelopes 10 more achievement points the achievements not too hard um overall for the lunar year i have found uh, unlike, you know, when you get into uh, the Queen's Pavilion and stuff, that stuff is really challenging. You have to build a build to get the, the best achievements done and things like that when it comes to AP points and, and that kind of stuff. The annual achievements, not too bad either. I mean, lighting 100 fireworks may be tedious, but it's easy comparatively. And like we said in the last live show about the Lunar New Year, it's, uh... Yeah, and I was buying the three in the Guild Hall. Thank you! Almost forgot to say that. And I was buying the three in the guild hall. Yeah, I was using my accommodations for that too. So I was buying at the vendor, doing the celestial thing, and buying the three at the guild hall. So I was able to get 11 that way and then more through the celestial vent and the achievements. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I keep forgetting about the guild hall. Even though I yelled it from the rooftops on, on the Discord. I was like, don't forget to do this. Um, but anyhow... Overall, Lunar New Year, veterans, about an hour, that kind of thing. It's not too hard. Um, I expect a lot of people to catch these achievements, but who knows what's going to happen in the next couple years. So expansion coming out this year, you know, maybe they'll focus the festivals a little bit more after the fact, but who knows, you know, when they start getting onto the new projects and stuff. Festivals are one of those things that just return, you get the stuff done, and you move on um, as a veteran, so... There it is. Overall, AP, I, I got a chunk. On my alt account, I got even more because doing that stuff, I was able to uh, finish achievements that I didn't finish from last year. So the other thing I want to talk about is the amount of gold I spent. So each envelope is a gold technically, but the three with the accommodations didn't cost a gold. And then these were actually 10 silver less. So I was losing less money by getting the tokens and turning them in. So, um, I did not spend 676 gold. I didn't have that much gold, I think, when this event came around. But we should, after today, end up with more than that. Uh, technically. Technically, hopefully. <laughs> I have kept every back piece, every skin I have unlocked since this event. I have not kept the food, though. Um, I did sell some of that, but I stopped because I'm just going to end up selling it after the fact. Um, and then I used all the fireworks to get the achievement done. Uh, oddly enough, um, I think I used four firecrackers last night. Dumbly. But, so we talked about lucky, lucky red bags. I am going to grab another stack, maybe two. I'm going to grab two stacks of these. Because I'll be able to make up that exotic luck. I'm going to grab two stacks of these. We'll open a couple stacks of these at the higher level of magic find. And see if anything great comes out. The way we will open these, the order that it will be, will be like this. So we'll, we'll do the little lucky envelopes so from right to left. I know that's a little weird, but... You'll understand here in a second, I hope. <laughs> I'm going to move this over. Um, and then we'll open all the way through those. It'll be fast. Unlike Black Lion Chest, I can right-click 
use all. And then, boom, it's done. The bag's the same. The little envelope's the same. So it goes really fast. Hopefully the game doesn't crash when I do that because there's a lot of effects and stuff happening. And the stuff that scrolls on the right side of my screen will kill my frame rate. Like, absolutely devastate it. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a bit of that stuff. I will clean up the inventory before we go out in the silver waste. We are going to get drops, and I won't have time to go through everything, so it'll be a little bit confusing. But I'll try to organize it to see what we get and all that kind of thing. Um, lastly, weekly rewards. I do not need transmutation charges. I have over two thousand of those, so um. I will take these legendary shards, I will take a Mystic Clover and the Exchange Voucher. I mean, I don't see any reason not to buy this stuff for exotic luck. Um, if you're hurting on exotic luck, go do the Celestial Vent. Rare luck comes out of that, you know, master Masterwork and Fine Luck all come out of that event opening those chests. You can get those tokens, turn them in for envelopes. There's no reason to hold on to your tokens either, so just buy the envelopes you can. Uh, don't buy the little ones. And since this event is coming back next year, you should be able to use the fragments again. So you'll just have to use bank space, put it on a mule, or whatever you're going to do with those. Um, but that's the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this. We talked about the envelopes, all that kind of thing. Yeah, put that in the right order. I have all this extra food from my daily stuff. This is just what comes from dailies. I need to sell this. At, this is the actual food that comes from the envelope. 51 chests. Wow. Oh no. Oh no, I can't do it that way. Alright, did I get it? Up to nine clovers. I like how I spent all that money and everything on um, getting ready to make the incinerator and then. <laughs> and then I've made up a bunch of that. So this is just extra luck I have, by the way. I can add that pile into there. And we'll. Um, technically, I should probably just go ahead and drop all of this. See how much luck we get. Just for comparison. I don't need it in my inventory, so we'll drop that too. I'll keep the food. I'll keep this. I I don't need these in my inventory, but you know. I have a black lion. I have so much junk in here. I should have checked this out a long time ago. Uh, if you're wondering why I have more of that food, it's because it's a count bound. Um, this is what I need right here, right? I need fireworks. Which one's stacking? So I need the lucky firework for for ten percent of bonuses from experience, right? But these are the ones that give you the magic find. And they don't stack. Do they stack? And this is my next point. Slash wiki magic find. I can sit here and explain it to you for the rest of my life. The magic find and what stacks and what doesn't stack and blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on, okay? But I want you to know that if you just slash wiki magic find, the people working on the wiki are amazing human beings. And that's what I'm going to do right here. Is slash wiki and take a look at what stacks and what doesn't. And in fact, they have something called Maximizing Magic Find. So I will be doing this. And I need to look to see what I have. I have all sorts of junk on here. So I need, from my inventory, one of these. Right? Item booster? Correct. A magic find booster, an actual magic find booster. It does it does not stack time, it actually stacks effect. 
Then I need the Laurel Let Magic Find Booster. How long does this last? 30? Yes. Need a Black Lion one. I will grab one of these. I don't think I... Wait, wait, wait. What? I do. I already used one. Skip. I need a Laurel Let Magic Fire Boost. I need to go my guild hall and change over to that. We will do that. I will put banners down. Make sure I grab those. Oh. So. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Why not? So I will need... Some of the, we'll use, we'll use like, I don't know, five minutes each, 12. Why do I have these? I have no idea. They were just there. Um, magical enrichment. What enrichment do I have on? Arma? Arma. Um, I need magic find. Question is, do I have magic find? Yes. So we'll have to deal with that, and then we'll have to change it back. Food. Now, when it comes to food, the chocolate almond berry cream is the best when you're under the effects of a boon. That's really easy to do, except not on Necro. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to use a 30%, so I will lose 10 there. My utility, I, I will still use. So... More than likely, I will use a peppermint Omnon berry bar and my flask of pumpkin oil. And it'll look ridiculous down here on the buff bar when this is all applied. But, um, yeah, and I'm going to need to remove this for the other thing. Right? Right. Right. And I think that's it. All right. There we go. The Laurelette Magic Find Booster doesn't exist anymore. We'll check. And then we'll double check. Wow. So, when it comes to these boosters, when it, when it comes to these boosters, the item booster and the magic find booster are two different boosters. They are different. So these will stack in effect, not time. The heroic booster and an item booster will stack in time. J just to let you know. I believe they'll stack in time. Hopefully it won't just override each other. But if you use a bonfire, it has the same effect as a magic find booster. If I see a bonfire, I'm going to keep this magic find booster because these are harder to get. Black lion boosters you can buy with statuettes and things like that. Which I highly suggest doing. Highly. 100%. Move that food up there. Let's put them in order. Yeah. Again, that's why wikiing that stuff is so important. We need to do this. Drag an item here. Sure. Now that's gone. Weak sauce. Alright. I'm already running at 543% magic find. Just to give you an idea. Now, if you're wondering where I'm going to go to get even more magic find, because that doesn't seem like a lot already, I will actually be going to Silver Waste. We'll be doing a full rotation of meta. We need to get out there. Um, so what we need to do is finish events, do the, do the first meta, do the Vine Wrath, and then when that's done, we need to stack up our magic find and open all the envelopes. As long as my magic find is over 800, I think is what I'm aiming for, 
I will open the envelopes. If there's some trick or something I missed or anything after that point that could get me to a thousand, like when you're opening the chest in the silver waste, um, I'm not going to be doing that. That's a lot of work for what we're doing here and I'm still gonna get a big return, so it's not that important to me to min-max that much. And we're already talking number 676 envelopes, right? So we're already talking bigger numbers anyways. And then we're stacking on whatever's coming out of these other envelopes and things like that. I realize my daily's gonna suck um, <laughs> tonight, doing, doing some of the envelope stuff. That's okay. Um, but yeah, and I have my banners right here and that kind of stuff. I need to go to the guild hall. Oh, they definitely took it out. Coin booster is still there, but not magic find. Interesting. I had a time machine. What? This, this may be something I need to come back and look at. I wonder how much 30% stacked on what I can already get would be. Can I get six silver drops? Something to think about. Alright, uh, kill off. That's me, that's me warming up the magic find. <laughs> All right. You know, that's... I wonder how much those mirrors were. I need a guildie to tell me how much these... Or anyone, I guess. Those portable mirrors you get from raids? I'll show you here in a second, because my guildie's got them, and they're amazing like that. Magic find. Boom! That should raise me up to 553 before I go do anything. Amazing! 553, and that's it, right? So we need to get to Silver Waste. Hold on, I gotta show you this mirror. So this, right here. But can you only have two? My question. So you, when you interact with this mirror, it will teleport you, you know, wherever you put it. I don't know. You can have more than two. Did I put other mirrors to teleport me to that tavern over there? Not really a tavern. I don't know. I can't wait until the expansion. When Ed gets here... First thing I want to know is, is there a different guild hall? And I'm done with this one. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. All right, it's a pretty guild hall. There's some things in here I'd like. It's just, I don't know. The setup of it, there's problems with it that still haven't been fixed. Everything's sort of spread out. I'm hoping to find something a little more condensed. Like, we have all these NPCs right here, but, like, getting the boost is a mile away, and then the nodes are further than any other guild hall. I think. But then there's like stuff on the ground that's invisible that you can't see, like rocks or something. I don't know. There's just problems like that. Also, decorations get consumed in the sky and things sometimes, and then you have to recall everything. I'm just not dealing with it anymore. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. To the silver waste. Now, if you're like, hey, why are you going to Bloodstone Finn? Because I don't want to pay extra money, okay? <laughs> How do you make money in this game? You don't spend it, all right? If only, if only I could take the Magic Vine boost from the other maps, am I right? We'll see where this map is when I get there. If not, I'll try to find a different map through the LFG. I know other people are probably going to be open in their envelopes, but I'm opening mine a little bit early. Usually, like, tonight would be the time to open your envelopes and things like that. So this map is just getting started. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of these flasks here and put on the magic find food and utility. Nothing here is going to kill me because, you know, I'm extremely powerful like that. What we need to do... Oh, I closed the wrong thing. I didn't do my dailies. Is defend these places... Let's 
Excuse me. Has anybody seen the bathroom? What? Do you guys work here? Used. You're all here. Excuse me. Yo. Don't you have a bridge to be under, dude? How much time I got? Back when I was a warrior, this event was so much easier because you just throw the banner down and pop them all back up and then die. You're dead. You're dead, my friend. Oh, you only have to hold for a minute? That commander right there is like every commander in World vs. World. I'm back up! Let's get back to battle! By rezzing this person over here. No, man! Fight! Only six left. I am not done Silver Waste since last year when I opened envelopes. <laughs> I like how the Mordrum are still annoying in 2021. <laughs> I don't know, also, if I'll be able to show all the buffs. I'm going to destroy my mini-map there and use it. By the way, conditions. Conditions. Everyone. Easiest way to cut through. I found fighting the Mordrum to be the most annoying thing in this game. And I used, for years, I complained about canyon spiders and their mobilization and the hyenas, and their mobilization and our cripple. Right? But then, but then you remember that ANAP made HOT and then come out here and they cripple and immobilize and knock you down and so annoying. All right. So what I'm stacking up here is called Perseverance and that gives me more and more magic find as I finish these events. I believe they do have to be successful. You can also throw these to your friends. Oh, you're supposed to do this. Your keg brawl champion. But you do have to turn some in on your own. So they added the branded. I think the area of effect branded are really annoying. Did that one count when it landed on him? Thanks for pitching in. Is that how I'm supposed to be doing it? The easiest way to get your perseverance quickly is Dolyax. Mounts, people! I just immediately went back, all the way, all the way back to, you know, 2014 here. <laughs> 2015. Use the damn mount! Need to get a different mount, in all honesty. Wait, did I not turn the last one in? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. The branded map effect, I think, is the most annoying thing. Just because they never added in a mastery to, like... Why did they not give us time? How did they never fix this? It's my frustration with ANET. 
Go back, ain't it, and fix your content. Nothing's worse than something that still exists and it's just absolute garbage years after you already knew it was garbage. This event should never be like two freaking seconds and done. I'm out. Done. I'm not gonna fight this stuff. I don't know why I'm here. I need to find an organized map because I realized how long this is taking and that bar is not moving because other people aren't playing and that the War Master is already dying. Let me see. If I can't find a map today, that's going to really suck. But I do want to point out my magic vine's already up to 613. So who knows? Maybe, maybe just getting the perseverance will be enough. All right, War Master's already dead. Let me go into looking for group here and see if I can find something better. Central Tyria. Was there a sil was there a silver waste? Is it in Central Tyria? The meta train, but I guarantee this map is full. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why Anet failed to deliver on the um by the way, I left the map, so my Perseverance resets in stacks. So in three minutes, this map will be resetting. We should be able to make it then. In a sense of not taking six hours to finish. Hey, I got a shovel. Um, what, was I, what was I just saying? Yeah, Anet missed on the chance of counter. Like, I don't just want masteries. And a lot of people, a lot of people, I have no idea why, don't want bloated masteries in this game. And they want masteries to, like, cover the entire world of Tyria. I want quite the opposite. I want specific masteries that help me in certain situations because I think that makes a lot more sense in the long run. I think that makes a lot more sense... Just immersion wise too. Um I don't know. I always thought it was weird that people are like, what, they're just gonna add six thousand masteries? Yeah, that's our vertical progression right there. That's that branching skill tree. That's the that's the lifeblood of using up the extra, I don't know, twenty-eight heart of thorns or fourteen path of fire. You get to pick and choose, you know? I'm okay with that. The thing is, like I don't know. But an anti-branded effect and things like that seems like something that would be right down the alley of the commander with Orin and and all that kind of training and learning that she she's done to be like, okay, in the Ice Brood Saga, we've taken this a step further and she's taught us that we don't need to get struck by lightning because the branded effect is there because we have protections, right? And we we've mastered this ability, but it just never happened. And I felt so disappointed, but again, that negative feedback from the players going, there's too many masteries, not enough mastery points all the time, just, I think, killed that creativity for ArenaNet. Or maybe they just never thought about it that way, you know? I have no idea. And lineup, I don't know what an organized silver waste is anymore. The Reba thing was once there, and maybe now it's not, and... I don't know. I don't know how these hyenas aren't extinct when I needed that beta this. Ori Calcum has skyrocketed in price because um, the new weapons introduced, the new recipes, it, those weren't unlocked for me, were they? I'm thinking about it. Am I missing something? I feel like something isn't right. I don't know. I'll have to look closer at that. Something with this new mastery or something, I I don't know. But those weren't unlocked for me still, right? They're supposed to be unlocked. Oh, this ain't happening. Oh, 
Oh, you have to make all of them? No, I'm not doing that. That's... A in all honesty, if you want to do that, good for you. But I, I don't like the way they're introducing new weapon skins. They are so expensive. L let me tell you this. Make legendary weapons over those set of weapons. They don't look that great. They're never going to have the functionality that you're going to get from a legendary weapon. I have no idea why you would spend... 2,000 gold making a, a set of weapons and then a, a reskinned version of it, right? And then not spend that money on just buying a legendary or making one. Because that's going to last you forever. And the other one, you're just getting a skin. The exotic weapon itself isn't worth anything. This dead. Oh, we have to kill this. So used to the game breaking. Hi. I need these bandit crests too. I'm glad power power I'm glad you're here and you're giving me all the information I need today. All of it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I I just I want them, I, I want the, I want skins in the game to be acquired, you know, crafted and acquired and things. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with them is just destroying the market, being like, look, these things cost way too much money. And you should be okay with this. <laughs> I guess, and I'm just not, um, what are we doing here? Oh, cool. Can I get on top of that? We'll never know. Where's the last Mordrum? I don't remember how to do any of this. I see it. I see it. It's up there. Hello, Midian. I mean, that's just it. An Ori Calcum is really expensive, so, like... When it gets, when stuff gets to a certain price, people begin to hoard it, right? And so the price, so the supply drops, demand is still high. And so as that supply drops, the price goes even further up. And so it's, it's just frustrating to me because Anet isn't creating a stabilized market. They're destabilizing it and bringing too much value to something too quickly. Does that make sense? And so Ori Calcum's price is going to go up and stay there if people aren't selling their Ori Calcum. Now, if you are going to do what you're doing, Binary, that would be fantastic if people started selling all their Ori Calcum. Oh, well, I need the gold. I don't really care for this, blah, 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 right? And so I'm going to go out there and farm that and sell it at the six silver per all the suckers that are there, right? So... Hey, thank you to the otter who dropped these. Appreciate you. Hey, if you have never checked out Bog Otter, hey, big shout out to that guy. He's been keeping me entertained over the last couple weeks. A lot. A lot of great gaming and a lot of great stuff over there. On YouTube. Look him up. Twitch. Twitter. Alright. Done chilling out for him. <laughs> hey, but would, would you like people, you know, you should chill out for him, okay? <laughs> What was he like? He's been playing Valheim. Okay. Can we talk about Valheim really quick? I know we're doing Guild Wars 2. I know I should stay on subject here. But that game is stupidly good in a weird way. Because those games usually like throw me off when you have to raise your skills to do simple things and stuff. But for some reason, that game... What are we missing here? I'm gonna trust it. Four skill. Got it. Uh, anyways, that game, I don't know. I just could not stop playing it, and it sucked away like four hours of my life the other night. It's a very interesting Terraria Minecraft. I don't know. It's a different experience, you know, with the Norse, Norse stuff going on. I don't 
It's hard to get away from that. I don't know. All the mythology and stuff just keeps coming back to me. Interrupt, people. Blind, interrupt, and destroy. Hold on, where did this act? We gotta help this pack bull really quick. <laughs> Too easy. Alright, I believe the conga line has started. So we just need to start running in a circle, helping where we can. Raising, raising Dolyax. Keep going in a circle like that. By the time they fix... No, you hurts it. You now get three and not only two, but I guess they'll increase the amount in the future. Was that broken? Notice. I just... I just... Um, refined all my Orichalcum ore and had like 425 Orichalcum ore, but I had to use 250 for the gift of metal. So I'm still... I would. It would take forever to be able to get what I need... These slingers back in the day, they racked up the kills, by the way. But what I used to do on my Hammer Warrior was knock them all the way back into this corner <laughs> and things. And then sometimes they would stay there. Sometimes they would walk back so they could do what they were supposed to do. That's what I would do. I'd just put them behind like a tree or something and they would just hit the tree and stop hitting the fort. I spent a lot, a lot of time in the Silver Waste. Funny enough, I think I spent more time in the Silver Waste on my alt account than I did on my main. Because, you know, Dry Top and things existed, and HOT, and it just... other things to do. But when you're going after an infusion, you know? <laughs> I leveled. I threw it away. Ain't it? Why can't it just stun them and do some damage? I would, I would love... I would love for those to stop being knocked away from my melee class here. Did we not get... Yeah, I think the commander's checking the same thing. Res all these guys back. Hey, what's up? Don't you don't try to kill my friends as they res things. Thanks. <laughs> the Silver Waste is always a lot of fun with a lot of people. When, you, when you're short people, it's just like, ah, oh, man, this is taking forever. But when there's a lot of people and things are moving, it's a lot of fun. Oh, the Prisma, Prisma tight stuff. People having a problem. A lot of people are having a problem getting that material, but it's all behind the dragon response missions. And so that's why they're having a problem getting it because again, it's not as engaging in my opinion. So people don't want to do the dragon response missions to get the extra Prisma tight or whatever. And, and I don't know if it's stuck behind the challenge moats or whatever, but if you're going to do a lot of them, might as well do the challenge moats try to get the extra loot. In my opinion. In my opinion, I'm going to say that as someone who doesn't do those. That thing was practically dead. I didn't get any experience for it. <laughs> just having a mountain do it and, and doing this is just crazy. Make a lot of gold farming here? Uh, Philly, you can't. Silver Waste is one of the core profitable maps. Um, so if you have a, like a free-to-play account, even, this is where you can make a good amount of money. It's not as good as it used to be, in all honesty. But it does have, it does have its, its... You know, it's money-making potential. You'll get a lot of shovels. You get a lot of bandit crests. You get a lot of bandit keys. Um, and then you just open a lot of champ loot, which can give you a lot of things. And then opening that cha champ loot on, on certain 
certain level characters and stuff will give you different loot and then you can sort of rig the system that way but i don't think there's any level now that's more profitable than the others per se because it is rng oriented so yeah it's pretty profitable you love it so far i appreciate that look i try oh if you really love it, you should hit the like button. I'm sorry. I'm going to chill out for a second. If you guys can hit the like button, I would appreciate that. Okay? I would just appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to sub, I appreciate it. We have a goal of getting to 1,000 subs. That's it. Probably say it one more time before I leave today, but... Okay, I'm going to chill out while we have some downtime here. <laughs> Falsy, what's going on, man? all the DRMs, the RNG, never did it again. Yeah. I mean, I think home nodes are the best way to keep up on currency. Log in. Hit the home nodes. <laughs> Log out. And all honesty, that's all I do now. And I, I have to get rid of this stuff somehow. This is what I want. This Dolyak right here. Is that a champ? Crap. Damage. People would give me boons. I can actually do more damage. Grab that. NPCs are dying on the other side. Ugh. This thing's about to be attacked. Oh, and I ran out of, uh... Doesn't matter. Success. Knocked him back. Good job knocking him back there. ED, what's going on? Ow. What's killing me now? Sometimes in this game... I always forget when I look over here just how bad the game looks when it... When it comes to like seeing what's going on on the screen but sometimes me seeing it i don't have no idea what's going on on the screen and that's why everybody shuts off the name tags and stuff but but to be honest without those name tags disrupting the background of things i would not see some of these creatures they would just blend into the ground and i'd just be like what's hitting me all the time okay <laughs> if you ever wonder why like man why does he play with all this info on his screen it's just there because I'm partially colorblind and I can't see crap sometimes. <laughs> Give me that loot. Yes! Look at the karma gain. 624 per event? That ain't bad. I'm here to ruin your day, slingers. No, that's my pack pool! Stop that. Stop that right now. You leave him alone. Pack bull number eight, nine, four, six, three, two, one. Jeez. How many pack bulls have come through here? Just reading its name tag. Uh, powered. Thank you so much. And I will try to have a good loot. Um, I don't think I'll change or edit anything out of today's live stream, but I am going to put a timestamp on down below of when I open all the envelopes so people can see the opening just directly because I believe um wow this is uh this is not going well I believe that it's gonna end up on both playlists because it is technically an opening so it'll be a little bit weird <laughs> so there's a live there's a live show playlist, and then there's a uh, opening playlist. There's salt shakers here, too? I still have not figured out how emotes work on YouTube, and I don't know if you have to hit a certain standard. I don't know, I looked. That Dolyak going, no! Mordrum are just bullies, man. Yeah. 
dead. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Stay there for a second. I gotta go check on your friends over here, beating up my commander. I'm in combat and slow! Stop that. Now die! <laughs> I don't remember what it takes to rebuild us, but I don't care. We're moving on! I don't know where the commander is and uh, why there is like this huge break in the conga line here. The salt is everywhere, it's true. If you're not salty, why are you here at the salt cube factory, you know? Hard to make salt cubes when you don't have the base material, am I right? Am I right? Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, tell me. I get it. We're all wrong sometimes. All the, all the time. Most of the time. Okay, shut. I, I want some mocha yogurt, but I ate it all and forgot I did. Now I have none. Woe is me. The other day. The other day. I went to go into my cupboard. I was hungry. I was like, I want to eat something. And look, you're going to think I'm weird, but I eat Chef D ravioli right out of the can. I know, unsub, all that kind of stuff. But I find it really delicious. And so what ended up happening... What? I was doing damage to something tel telekinesis style. Um... Save this place now. Okay. All by yourself. Back on subject. So, I forgot I already ate them all. I get like, I, I eat them like once or twice a week, right? Because, you know, I'm home alone. Uh, you cannot transform me, Skrit. I am much too powerful for you. The other loot bag. Did he only did he not drop all three? But only three. Oh. <gasps> it's the legendary Annihilator! Anyway, so I go into the cupboard and I'm like, man, I am hungry. I'm gonna eat myself some ravioli here. There was none. And then I remembered I already ate it. But I had already thought we had replenished stock. We did not replenish stock. Tonight we're replenishing stock. But man. I know that disappointment. When you're like, I, I want to eat this. And then you know what? It ain't there. It ain't there. <laughs> Donkey Ball Z. A hey, shout out. Shout out to Donkey Ball Z. Right here. Uh, here, I right, full, full mastery. 11,000 AP. What a great name. Name of the week. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help this again, even though you know diminishing returns. I can finally, <laughs> I can finally get auto loot. Congratu congratulations, Mr. Lean. <laughs> I I miss uh, meta events because you just see all the people. You go you go out to those like you know ice fruit saga meta events. Nah, it's the same people every day. Yeah, you go out to these silver waves, you're getting new people into the universe, fresh, right out of high school, trying to do their jobs. And they're coming out there with names like Mr. Lean, Donkey Ball Z. Hey, Gen Zers, as a millennial, I want you to know I support you 100%. Everything that you're doing, thank you. I cannot think of one stupid thing that you possibly could be doing that could just upset me more than millennials have ever done, okay? Trust me. Everybody thinks that Tide Pod stuff was Gen Z. No, I know some stupid millennials out there was like, oh man, yeah, I wonder what happens if you eat a Tide Pod. No, we should go tell all the kids. K-pop? All right, I don't understand it. But is it hurting me? No, there could be worse things you'd be doing. You could be eating Tide Pot. <laughs> Where's that slinger? This thing, this thing's deadly. 
Okay, that's all, that's all I'm saying. So these names that you're coming up with and these weird things that you guys do, I'm finding fun. It's like it's like going to an art gallery and you actually understand what the art all means. You're just like, wow, what? What are they doing here? And you just you just stare at it and you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> totally understand that feeling. Hopelessness? Man, that's all my generation knows. I was wondering how this guy healed right here. Stop hitting that gate. Stop it. Stop healing the slinger. This is so much easier. When I came out here on my Condi Reaper, these things would just, 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 I don't know, cease to exist. God, how much time's left? I'm here. We can fight. We can fight. I froze the mender, not the basher. Got credit for something somewhere. What I'm gonna do. Grab the torch. Go up the stairs. Commander's right on the north side here. Gonna run to the signal fire. I'm stuck in combat. It is lit. No, you died. There it is. Boom. Combat, you stupid mender. Gonna res this dude. How many legendaries have we got? <laughs> Were we not supposed to kill that? Oh, some people are mad because we killed that legendary so quickly. And other people are mad because people wanted the legendary. Weird. Time the snow story happened, there wasn't much to eat at home, 20 inches of snow, every very dangerous drive. It was the first time I had to teach myself how to cook plus stew, use frozen tor tortillas. There was no bread left. Falsy. Guys, have a food stash and a water stash. All right, change it out every six months. Find food you like to eat, but not too often, okay? Find food that you like to eat and then and then stock up on that food. Same thing with water. Stock up on the water. And then every six months, drink all the water, you know? Do what you do. Just don't get me wrong, like filters and stuff, that's great. You now if you want better taste in water, cool. And you don't want all that stuff coming out of your tap, I get it. But like, when it, especially when it comes to winter, like, and you know bad things happen in winter. And if you don't know, you've learned probably this year. Stock up on that stuff. Also, get some candles. I cannot tell you how many people were unprepared for what happened this year in a lot of places. Not here, not just here in the United States. Like, we haven't even heard world news because the United States is so bad, right? But I'm talking about, like, get some candles. Candles will save your life. You can you can do a lot with those things, all right? Batteries. Learn how, learn how to, uh, you know, create fire without the things that usually create fire. Learn how to make safe fire in the home. Learn about what uh, carbon monoxide poisoning is because, my goodness, you can't just light things on fire and not understand that you can't breathe in those fumes. Did this place fall? No. It did. No. Boo. Amber has fallen. Tonga line isn't doing well. Hey, thank you for the keys. How many these do I have? Doesn't tell me. That, that's the next quality of life thing. 
Well, that's gonna slow things down. We might, we might be getting close to, uh, you know, the two hour mark today. I was afraid this is gonna be short. We're gonna end up at it or something. Canned tuna? Oh yeah, canned tuna is fantastic. 703% magic fighting so far. We haven't even got the boosters on. We're just, ru we're just running around with 703% magic fighting. <laughs> Don't worry, Warthog. I will avenge you. Oh, I killed you. I want to point out, I'm also getting like these two silver drops and thing. We're making money while we're out here. Sack. I'm so mad about those powerful venom sacks. I was like, man, I'm 50 away. I guess I'll go ahead and just convert. You know, there's 17 silver a piece. I can still save a little bit. Of my no. Oh man, what are you doing? Opening a lost bandit chest? Oh my goodness. Let's save red. Cantuna barfs. I don't know. A lot of people don't seem to like tuna for some reason. Or fish in general. I've always loved fish. I'm not really a picky either, though. As I get older, I've gotten a bit pickier, but that's because I have access to better things. See, I grew up poor. <laughs> I've been homeless, so... You know, like eating cans... Eating canned ravioli directly... The Annihilator is back? My skills are not working. Okay. First of all, you're all idiots. Second of all, kill the vine crawler so you stop being an idiot and it keeps taking all of our boons. It's annihilators annihilating this guy. Don't hit me. I didn't do it. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna be mad about it. Hey, we got a scourge over here. Yeah, give me that barrier. Kill you again. Dude, get away and heal yourself. Stop just going down. He takes half your health per hit. Nerds, get some distance. Stupid freaking menders. Tuna salad with boiled eggs, that's good. I like, I like tuna in my salads more than I think I like tuna uh, plain. Like, you know, right out of the packet or something. Like tuna with things. You gotta have like a tuna tuna salad sandwich or you know, something like that. Whole tuna, you know, if you ever get the the fillets. Almost hit me. Almost down me. And tuna is not even tuna? What? I mean, it's just preserved tuna. I get anything out. 27, 27 pound bucket of mac and cheese with 20 year old shelf life and it was like $90? What a deal, man. <laughs> I don't trust anything that can survive, survive longer than five years on the shelf, okay? <laughs> then you see something like that and you're like, mm -hmm, gotta try it. See, see, a lot of people, they have dreams when they get rich, right? They're like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a car and a house and all these things. I'm thinking like, how much is that? $60? I'll try it. <laughs> hey, it's finally dead. I'm glad that commander came over here and helped us. Wow, what a quinky dink. You knocked me into all of that AoE. 
now the NPC is dead. Goodness. You, anybody here know how to play? What's going on? Everybody going down over here. Three silver drop? What? Probably some albacore. Um, I hope there is an albacore in my tuna. Or I could sue. And I would. It's like when the pe people would be like, yeah, there's dolphin in your tuna. And I was like, no, I hope not. I hope they, I hope they knew, realized that, you know, don't grind up the uh, dolphin has become a standard. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I think somebody out there would open a can and start eating and be like, why is there albacore in my tuna? And then that would be over. It would be an entire thing on the news. Some re retired, retired guy coming home from a day of golf. He's in the Navy for like 20 years. Ate his fair share of seafood. And upset. They're like, what's going on here? This is a tuna to albacore. The F <laughs> goes on the news, local news. So I open the can, tuna, and it's not tuna. The albacore. What is this? Whoa, somebody is messed up here. <laughs> So, somebody has gone too far. <laughs> guy, that guy, guy's up on YouTube. Look at this. Now you're asking yourself, how do I know it's Albacore? <laughs> you list off all these like things he's done in life. I used to spearfish this Albacore out of the sea. That's it. You know, that's how people, f like that's the thing. Then he goes on the internet and he's like, does anybody else have this brand? Do you know if this is Albacore Tuna? I want to double check. And of course, like, thousand people, like, man, that is definitely Albacore. And I'm over here just going, it's, it's good. It's fish. <laughs> just eat it. <laughs> just put some relish and some mayo on that, baby. Throw it on some bread. Tuna Can Factory has some fishy. That's the headline of the paper, right? The Tuna Can Factory has some fishy ingredients. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see someone accidentally got cooked in a tuna oven at a bumblebee tuna? Oh, man. You know, those factory accidents, I hate reading about. Because then I always ask, like, why is that opportunity even exist, first of all? Like, like the opportunity for an accident should not exist. There's people's jobs to make sure that doesn't happen. It's like people who used to fall into uh, the giant vats of things. And people would be like, yo, where's Frank? And they'd be like, I don't know. And then they're like, you know, they just go on about the day and be like, man, I can't believe Frank quit. And then they go to like, you know, pull whatever out of the vat and they dump it out. And there's Frank flying across the floor, you know? And then it's just like, ugh. <laughs> right? But then you ask yourself, why was nobody watching Frank? <laughs> And also, why is the opening to that vat so god dang big? <laughs> What's going on here? Did they want this to happen? Conspiracy theories, right? You just like... It's like back in the day, like... They used to have kids... So when the trains used to latch, they have these latches now. And so when the trains come together, they latch like this. Right? And then you press the thing and they can unlatch. But back in the day, it used to be these pins you would drop in. And these people would spend, like, their entire existence working from eight years old on putting these pins inside of these train things. And they would lose fingers and stuff because these giant metal objects coming across like that. And you have to get the pin in right. You know? Lesson learned type thing. But I always wondered, who was the freaking butt face... <laughs> Who was the freaking butt face who thought that was okay? Like, let's risk life and limb literally to get these trades in. Why am I taking 2,000 damage? What is hitting me? Hello? 
Oh, nobody's here? It's gotta be that thing right there. So ANAT never fixed those either? ANAT. Nothing that isn't an elite or champion should ever do more than 2,000 damage in this game. Nothing. Not a single damn thing, ANAT, ever. I don't give a crap what anybody else says. They're hardcore elitist. I don't care if they're super casual. Nothing that is just a base creature should ever do more than 2,000 damage. Okay? This shouldn't. Because you just, what you do is you just swarm on the players. And that's why so many people hated HOT. Because you weren't just being swarmed by like one thing doing 1,800 to 3,000 points of damage. You're being swarmed by six things. And do you know what exponential increase is? No, nobody at ANET knows what the exponential increase is. Not a single damn person on the balance team. Nobody. Point one out. Point one out that understands the terminology exponential increase. Point that person out because they should be the manager and going, yeah, guys, but have you ever faced 12 of these at once? And everybody would be like, no, I didn't think about that because nobody thought about it. Pocket Raptors were the worst creatures in the game? No. What was the worst creature in the game is the developer thought it was okay for them to crit you for 3,000 points of damage. That was the worst creature in the game, okay? And that's why I still have flashbacks of HOT. PTSD, just it just pops up. You think I'm kidding. Man, I stress and rage harder in HOT content than I do in anything else they've ever introduced besides PvP and World vs. World. I mean, but that's competitive, high-level stress type situation right there, right? Come out to the Silver Waste and you have these things like all pecking at you for freaking... Did you guys see that damage? I'm not running around with cheap HP here either. I have 32,000 points of HP and I cannot out damage them compared to what, like, I'm not doing child's play damage here either. I just cannot kill them faster than they could kill me because I have 32,000 damage or thousand health and they have like freaking 60 billion. <laughs> you think I'm kidding about that? You never played this game because ADAT's like, hey, how much HP can we give this? All of it. They have a pool and they're just like, yeah, this creature right here, it's about this big, must have like freaking 100,000 health. Don't want the players just to be running over the content. I don't even care about drops if I'm killing things because it just feels good to kill kill things, but Anet's the opposite. They're like, kill things to get loot and we'll give you all the loot. But no, it should just be, I'm just gonna run through here as the commander just destroy everything and it just doesn't happen. So you never feel good. Then a veteran comes along and you should be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta try a bit harder here. And there's your loot. Did I get both of them? Is there three of them? Yes. How much HP would you like to give this? Yes. That was the biggest... That is still the biggest problem with those DRMs and why I just don't like playing them. Like, I'm not doing, like, small damage here. Like, doing 1,600 damage just on a base hit is pretty good. It's a moderately high damage. Now, for some reason, Anet, like... Like, I'm just going to sit here and just beat on this thing forever because that's that's what I'm talking about. This takes forever, man. Yeah! Let's go beat these things up. I always forget how to beat these guys. All right, first meta down. Before the salt gets too high. Which one is this? Okay. So we have to destroy these bubbles... To get them from raging. We're gonna do massive amounts of damage. Ow. No, no. See, these things doing more and more damage to you makes sense. Like, they are, they are the boss thing here, right? I can hit them from a distance. <laughs> I will solo this content if I have to. Res your friends? Oh, I thought it was an EU. Sorry. All right, there's one more. It's going to come around. Nope. 
Too soon. But we got it. How? Why are you standing in the middle of the highway? Just, I just, ah. These are, I'll be honest, these bosses are really easy. All you gotta do is run the opposite direction and not be going down every five seconds. And then plan a bubble out and then just damage it. But every time I come in here, like people are just, Burst and bubbles early, chasing after it, which does more damage to you. Yeah, you know, just confused. Boss is left. We're good. Which one is left? Copper, iron, gold, silver, platinum, blue. That one can be rough. That one can be rough. I don't know where the commander was going. Commander, commander's still confused. You're not supposed to stand in bad stuff? No. But I, I, if... If you do stand in bad stuff, here's the, here's the deal. You can stand in bad stuff, but you have to survive it. <laughs> foolish, foolish, foolish children. Are we gonna get this? Uh-oh. Break the bar? Yeah, we're gonna get it. <laughs> what? How did that bounce towards it? What? Uh, I guess if it hits something, it bounces. Um, don't go invulnerable. Whoa! Got it! GG! Alright, one more thing. Stand in bad stuff at least once? Not always. Not always. Sometimes. Not always. Sometimes the bad stuff is very, very bad. Ooh, should I do... One, two, or three. One, two, or three. All right, let's take a look at our inventory really quick. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thought it would be a bit worse. We have greater nightmares. Holy crap. Unidentified, unidentified loot and that kind of stuff. The ident unidentified gear, sorry. That was a major improvement. Um, all of this right here for this kind of stuff. Huh. Eight shovels? I could range in the north. I can range in the north. Big vines everywhere and get yourself Plantera. It does have big vines everywhere. What are you talking about? This is the Plantera. I mean, technically. Technically, Mordremoth is Plantera, but like the end game one, you know, like a master mode. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you know, it just for some reason this popped in my head. Talking about surviving bad conditions, get yourselves a manual can opener too, please. The stories I have heard of people not having can openers blow my mind. Do not just own an electric can opener. Get a manual one. I don't care if it's like the dollar one that could barely open the can. Also, go learn how to open a can of something without a can opener. Not actually that hard. You just need a rough surface. And you, you just scrape it on the surface and the top of the can eventually just pops off. But, I mean, that's the simplified version. It'll take a little bit of elbow grease, but at least you'll be alive. <laughs> I mean, that's a weird thing to say, but... Can opener, okay? <laughs> Get a can opener. Candles, can opener, what else am I missing in there? Water, food. Blankets. Heard stories of people not owning blankets. Or enough blankets. Here's the deal. Always have three sets of sheets, five sets of blankets. Expensive, yes, I know, but blankets and sheets don't go away overnight, okay? It takes years for those things to wear out. And, to be honest, sheets are pretty sh cheap. Don't You don't have to get no 6,000 thread sheets. It's The thing is, the sheets themselves could also be used for er other things, and blankets are better than towels for heat. They're meant to insulate, versus towels are meant to keep things dry. Which brings me to another point. Own towels! Several sets of towels. It'll save your life. Trust me. I don't know. I'm sort of... I'm always disappointed in life about certain things. But I'm never disappointed about people who don't know certain things. I'm more angry about it because someone should have taught them. And like drilled it into their head. If bad things should happen. Blah, 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 blah. You'll have these things at the ready. Like, growing growing seeds without dirt? That isn't something I expect you to know. Do I know how to do it? Yes, I do know how to do it. But at the same time, like... That isn't going to probably save you. Growing food takes a long time. But, like, having a stash of canned food just in case with a can opener... Somebody should have told you that and instilled it. And when you went out into the world, you should have been like, I need these things. You can even put them in your car. I mean, that's another thing. Survival stuff in a car, too. That was a big one. But that's a little more rough because, you know... Depends on how much you drive and if you're willing to go out in bad conditions in the first place and things. And I can understand, like, yeah, I didn't have that stuff because, like, in my car, there's a car leak, right? And if I leave a blanket in there, it's just going to mold because of where I live. But I don't know. It's like... Huh. I'm, not, I'm not telling you to be smart. I'm just asking you to live another day, you know? That's, a, that's all I want here. After seeing all this stuff and hearing the stories, I'm just mad. Just angry about it. Because it didn't have to get to this point. For all sorts of reasons. It's just sad. People take pictures of icicles in their house? That's nuts to me. Not understanding the ground is colder than the air in your room? That, that's also a hard thing to teach people. So if you run out of heat, you need to insulate your floor. Your carpet, your hardwood and stuff is not going to stay warm. So throw clothes on it. Throw blankets on it. Put something between you and the floor. If you wonder what shelter truly is in life, if anybody's like, yes, that thing needs shelter, it's not always shelter above your head. It's getting you off, to the, off the ground. That's the more important thing, especially when it's cold. That ground is not going to warm up. It's going to stay cold. The ground freezes. So what you need to do is put yourself between it and find things that hold heat 
and keep the cold out. Your clothes are meant to do that. They keep you warm, keep the cold out. So if you throw dirty clothes and stuff on the floor, it, it'll keep your room warmer than otherwise. So, and it's not a time to be worried about, oh man, is that, is that sanitary, blah, blah, blah. Come on, I know most of you, 90% of you have dirty clothes somewhere on your floor, okay? Now's not the time to be worried about what other people are going to think, okay? Mom and dad aren't probably gonna show up and be like, oh my God, what happened to your room? They're gonna be worried that you're alive or not, right? Just throwing that out there. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're not like, why is your room so dirty? And you can be like, mom, dad, um, it's 10 degrees outside and I would like to live today. I stay with you. Brings me to my next point. Some of us are old. Some of us are old, okay? That means our parents are older. Check on your parents, you know? You gotta come after me. I knew you would. You always do. Darkwing? More like weak wing. Am I right? Dude, you just got pwned because you stood in this thing. Oh, I'm not standing there. Come over here. Cheater. gonna get it open for them they're down you fools got the wrong thing target it doesn't matter victory got an open the chest did I auto loot the big you auto loot the big one now? Only got a couple rares from all this. Alright, I'm gonna open those chests and they're gonna go off and do their thing. Alright! So! I'm gonna go over here. Portable generator? Those things are expensive. But, you know, if you can afford it. bag in the pocket knife from the kit? Why not just take the whole kit? <laughs> Electric can openers are harder than man- Right? I'm, not, I'm, I'm glad I'm not alone here about electric can openers being just- Look, I have arthritis, but I still use a manual can opener because electric can openers just- I don't know. I don't like them. They, they still leave a sharp edge. I, I don't know. I'm old fashioned. We are going to toss this and this down. Get that magic vine. So, I feel like I'm already forgetting something here, but. No, that's what I needed. So we're at 753% magic find. We are going to now do everything in our power to, um, Raise that magic find. Oh, these take a long time to light. There's a five second cooldown on these. Watch this. Already holding something? Wow. I'm not. Boost, boost, boost. I don't have to do all of them, thank God. <laughs> I didn't know those had such a long cooldown. I think the other fireworks are much faster. Um, I will go ahead and open the champ loot just because. I'm curious to see how much loot we got here. Good amount. Not too bad for running around in circles. Um, another rare there. I got a 
bunch of the piles of silky sand. Before I reveal my, reveal my magic find here and we open all these envelopes, I want to go through it all really quick. I want to thank the commander of this map, too. Um, the guild kink. Appreciate you running around. So I'm just going to put all this right here, try to organize it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and break down this rare and this rare. We're going to get some back pieces, but I don't know how many. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell off the junk loot. We are at 963% magic find. Banner, banner, banner. Got that. So... Um, it's going to be harder to see with the buffs. So here are my banners done. I have one more firework to light off here. I have the item booster, a magic find booster, the black lion boost. I have the fireworks. One is only experience. The other one gives me more magic find. I have the spirit banner. I have the utility food for 30%. I have the heroic banner buffs of randomness, but one of them gives me 10-15% magic find. Food, 30. Now, if you use the Omnon Berry Cream and you can get boons on you, that's another 10%. So I could have 973. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this right here. Um, I have the five stacks of Perseverance, which is 150% magic find. Um, what else do I need? I think that's it the guild boost the memories of home which is another boost of like 10 15 percent from just the event and now i cannot see what else is behind there but um i think that's everything got distracted sorry no it's okay magic enrichment yes on the equipment i have that 963 is 37% away from doubling my chances on the rarest stuff. So that's fine. My goal was over 800. We're at 963. I am satisfied in all honesty. So what we're going to go do is open all my little lucky envelopes right here. 154 of those. So we'll mark the time here down below later tonight. I'll have to do that because I have to wait for the video to get all done and things like that. Um, you can watch it right now, but I need to have it process out. Um, but I will mark the time here. And then if you want to show it to anyone or anything like that. So 154 of the little lucky envelopes. Let's see what we get out of that. Some fireworks. Lots of luck. Not too bad. 48 of the Red Festival Lanterns. Let's do the Lucky Red Bags. Now, I've opened a bunch of these already, but not at this magic find. So let's get it done. So, back piece. Lots of the Red Festival Lanterns. We're getting some back pieces. I have not got the exotic back piece this year. So, we have maxed out on back pieces. We're at 24, 25, there we go. So 25 of these back pieces right here, not more. So this here would be 20, 24. I don't think I got rid of one, but we'll see. Oh, there's 25, there it is. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna pull this luck down too because we are getting that. The, these are the divine lucky envelopes. Gonna give us the biggest boob. Boob? Boob? Boost. My goodness. Boob? What? Not for kids. Let's go! So there's a bunch of fireworks happening. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> Let's go again. We got the exotic back piece. We got one. So there goes another stack. We have a bunch of gold down below. The last stack here. Whoa. Lots of fireworks. Okay. 
first of all, let me pull as much luck as I can see here out of the pile. And we'll separate it a little bit if I can. More of that. I also got 18, 225 of that. So getting your luck in a return isn't too bad. Isn't too bad. I have a bunch of rare back pieces. I got three exotic back pieces. And I'll be unlocking that skin. That's it. We're done opening the divine envelopes. Like, it's just that fast. Ooh. Look in here. <laughs> I mean, it's over 30 of the rare back pieces, three of the exotic. So we can see that there's a pretty big difference in drop rate, but I haven't, I didn't get any exotic back piece until I opened the 676 envelopes there. So um, out of those, I only got three of these. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the skin. That's done. Don't know how much those sell for anything, right? Like that. Luck, 1,500, 1,700 there. Am I missing any luck over here? I ended up with 13 of the superior runes of fireworks, 21 of the minis festival lanterns, tons of fireworks. I mean, just ridiculous. Oh, they don't have a, uh, I guess it does have an ox on it. Food wise, again, since my magic find is so high, I didn't get the lower tier drops but i did end up with a good amount of spring rolls sweet bean buns the red dumplings the fried dumplings but only 24 of the delicious rice balls which are the most expensive ones probably because supply isn't as high as the others this is just old loot right here um masterwork 557 luck there we ended up with over 500 rare luck, 225 exotic, and 18 of the legendary luck. You need eight of that legendary luck if you want to get the Spalders from last year's annual reward. So, but we need to talk about gold because there's a lot. So let me move this stuff out of the way and we'll talk about it about right here-ish. So the reason why we open these is for the gold... And so I need to know how much gold I got from all of this. So I'm about 116 gold down here, which is probably hard to see on the screen. Um, but I got 500, 671 of the golden ox figurines um, out of those. So that right there is 500 and something gold, right? I ended up with 56 of the ornament ornamental golden trophies that's nearly 500 gold on their own 56 of them so 500 gold we have over a thousand gold right here so the return on 676 envelopes say they're worth the gold i'm already over a thousand for opening them so that's why it's so profitable then we have some extra stuff up here which is just change but it's still adding up to about seven gold, I think. Four, five. Okay, about six gold. <laughs> so 116 gold, 41 silver, 47 copper. Let me write it down. But there's no reason to hold on to the junk loot. So we're just going to sell it. Um, let, me, let me type it in chat. 116 G 41 S 47 copper. And I'll tell you how much. There we go, right there in chat. Sell junk. <laughs> 1216 gold, 58 silver, 75 copper. We're going to do some uh, quick math on that. 58 silver, 75 copper. All right. And what was the original number? 116, 41 of 47. And that brings us to 1101, no, yeah, 1100 gold, 117 silver, 28 copper. Sorry, can't read numbers. So we ended up making 1100 G, 
17 silver, 28 copper. Right there in chat. From 676 envelopes, plus the 150 something little lucky envelopes and the 500 red bags. Now, I don't think those red bags really gave us a lot, but you know, there it is. Let alone, I have all this other loot I haven't opened. Fireworks and things like that, that's the question. How much is this stuff worth on the trading post? So let me open this. I have 36 back pieces here that sell for about 10 silver per. So that's three gold, four gold right there, right? And then I got to look at the exotic ones. Those are selling much higher. Four, so another nine gold there. Again, this is how you make your money. It's a nice little thing at the beginning of the year to sort of pad your wallet um, I didn't look at this stuff, like these fireworks. Yeah, they're not worth that much. Uh, they've been around for a while. So, spring rolls, 48 copper. Fried golden dumplings, 70 copper. Delicious rice balls sitting at 11 a piece. Again, the supply versus demand. Um, the steamed red dumplings, gonna be higher up. 61, the sweet bean bun, 70, 67 copper, I'm sorry. Dyslexia, I guess, affecting me. Fireworks, they're not that cheap comparatively to where I thought they were, but, um, you know, 11 copper is better than nothing, but you can see I got over a, two stacks of the Lucky Drake Tells. Supply and demand makes a huge difference. Um, the Ox Fireworks, 57 copper. Lucky Prismatic, 12. Those have dropped every year. The superior runes, the fireworks, I got 13 of those. I'll be keeping these, at least enough of them, for a few sets. I like these runes. They're they're really good. Um, but that, that's another 27 gold in my pocket. And of course, that question that always happens, a question that always happens is, was it, was it worth it? Yeah, it's always worth it for these. What's the smell about? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know if you want me to use those or just hold on to them for a bigger opening. We haven't talked about a black lion chest in a long time. My scene worked. I had to double check twice, but um, but anyhow, man. I'm a little exhausted, in all honesty, just coming out here and doing this. Break, break all that down. Open all of these. Yeah, I don't even think I have room to open all the gear and stuff because of all this luck. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing with this luck, I will be converting the rare stuff into exotic, so on. Also, um, I'll be holding on to this as we drop that stuff off at the beginning of today's show. And so all this extra stuff will be thrown in the bank right here. So all this in the bank. And it'll be converted up to the exotic luck to have whatever happen. Oh, how much are these mini lanterns? Uh, Ko, are you okay? Any Anybody else online with Ko? <laughs> these things aren't worth anything. All right, well, goodbye. I believe you can upgrade them too, right? I want to hold on to those I have so much junk in my bags I'm gonna sell these rice balls I think I might can you break down that food you can't so you end up having to sell it Ana let me break this down break it down man why are you so stingy Ana why are you so stingy I sort of know why but at the same time Used to open Greater Nightmare Pod in the Silver Waste? What? Why would you do that? Trust me. I'm not going in there. Can't make me. Not gonna happen. Somebody's like, you're throwing away gold! I just made 1100 gold, okay? I don't care, alright? I'm a rich person now. I don't care about this cheap stuff. How much did I throw away? 100 gold? Pfft. Time to gamble! Don't do it. Don't do it. Gotta sell that. Yeah, what a mess. What a mess. I can go ahead and break down these two things. Wow, Ori Calcum Ore? 
So overall, I am satisfied. I still have another 24 envelopes to open at a lower tier, but maybe I'll get lucky. We have the gold now to get the precursor to our legendary, the gold to finish up anything else I may not have. Um, that kind of thing. So, and yes, I am running, again, we were running at 963% magic find. It's still there. I should go take this out into the world and see if I can get a drop, a good drop or whatever. Um, you know, you can go out here and just kill things. These are pretty good to kill because they drop the lodestones. But with that kind of magic find, I mean, there's going to be a couple problems with it. This is not a great sword. There's going to be a couple problems with this kind of magic find. First of all, getting lower tier drops just ain't gonna happen the same way you'll still get the drops like these these crystals and things from elementals you'll still get the tier five drops and the tier six drops probably at a little bit of a higher rate but the biggest problem with magic find that high is you're not going to get the lower tier gear as much as you would have and you can see that with those delicious rice balls that's the effect magic find can have now is that how it's supposed to work i don't think so but that's how it tends to work and it's just a really weird way for the drop loot, the, the drop table on loot to work. So, I don't know. But with this high of magic find, what's really cool is the fact that that still does that. What's really cool is that you do have double the chance of a precursor almost. So it goes from somewhere like a 0.7% chance you're going over 1% chance. So if you get out there and you can hold this magic find long enough and kill things long enough, you could, in essence, get a precursor easier than not. But the problem is with that is that that's not how RNG works. That's not how statistics work. And so you get into this struggle of how many things would I have to kill at 1,000% magic find plus to um, get a greater, greater chance. And I'm going to tell you, it's still going to be about two to 3,000 kills, more than likely. What I'm going to do to see where my max magic find would be is open one of these right here. So we're sitting at 963, and we're just going to watch this number right here. Am I on it? There it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to watch this number right here. 11,113. 11113. I think that's the highest magic find I've ever had. So 1113%. It's really fast too. 1113% magic find. So doubling my chances there. Now some people are actually use that to open those envelopes. Do I think that's worth it? No. But, you know, more power to you. I do feel like higher magic find is worth it for the junk drops. I don't think it's worth it for, um, you know, trying to get the back piece and things, which some people want the delicious rice balls and stuff. So if you hear people talking about that 450 to 550% magic find area, that's a good boost. But, you know, that's where we started today. And I had to, I had to do all this fighting for the extra 400% there. Um, 410% boost to my magic find. I don't think there's another map that can give you this much magic find still. So Silver Waste is still your go-to. I might be wrong about that. I, I, I did a couple searches. I tried to look around and ask some people. They said they were doing Silver Waste. So um, with these new meta maps, I don't know if that'll change in the future, but it's something definitely to look at. Uh, if you're gonna open your envelopes at a high, a high magic find it's up to you but again i'm usually satisfied with 800 percent or more we got to the 963 um this was a very good experience today for me um because i've been so low on gold for so long now um that it's good to finally make up some of that and that's what this that's what the lunar new year is for winter's day is your karma lunar new year is your make up all the gold you've lost forever <laughs> <laughs> so yeah also i made money while i was out here too killing things and doing the events and stuff and that kind of thing so 
Uh, it's fun. It's fun. But we have run out of time today, and I'm not going to sit out here and pretend. Um, some final thoughts. Make sure you get your weekly reward for the Lunar New Year. This is your last chances tonight. Not much time left on a Lunar, Lunar New Year. 20 hours left. So if you haven't got your weekly reward, please, please do that um, for that exotic luck. And just to let you know, if you don't have the exotic luck right in your hands, opening those did give me 225. So you should be able to afford it after that. So if you open those envelopes uh, after you do your dailies tonight. So again, I will be doing another 24 of them tonight. So maybe I can get a bit more gold for that. But um, about to use 25 keys. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't talked about Black Lion Chests, and I forgot to talk about them last time. So I want to go do that really quick while we have a few minutes here. Just a few minutes. In the meantime, if you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate that. Also hit the like button. That helps me out um, to get this on people's recommended and things like that. And if you ever have a question, comment, anything, you can always ask right below here. We will be on Twitch tomorrow with the test stream. Um, I'm going to surprise you with the game. It's going to be a different game. Um, we're, I'm testing OBS and things like that over there. So that's what's going to happen tomorrow. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, I will warn you, it's a bit more adult over there. Not a bit. It's a lot. I'll drop F-bombs and stuff on Twitch. Over here, I try to keep my mouth clean. What? I don't know what that meant, but I said it. Um... <laughs> But anyways, why, why did I come in here? Black light just. But if you want to do that kind of stuff, I appreciate it. Also, follow me on Twitter and join our Discord if you want to know when I go live. I didn't do a few shows because I've been off doing things in the background, getting some personal things done. My car was broke. I had to go fix it. Um, things like that. It took a lot of time. I mean, we sat at the tire place for two and a half hours just to get tires type of thing. So it, like, cuts into my day and it's... It, you know, with the pandemic going on and having to do that stuff, it's a little more stressful. But anyways, these Evan Nash Blade Lucky Envelopes are the same thing, but they have a better drop rate for the higher tier um, loot drops type of thing. You can get more money out of these is what I'm trying to tell you. So better envelopes, things like that. Final thing about the Black Lion Chest that I keep missing is that they do have a Jackal skin in here. Um, a lot of people seem to like it 1600 gems you know in fact in fact um i got some keys here thanks to someone in chat lambo lambo lamb chop amazing name i don't know where lambo came from but we're gonna open some of these why not wandering cloud chair and and glider so keep on with that theme and i yeah i missed out on this last time right some electric... Oh, wait, 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 wait. And change it back. Yeah, so confident. Electric, we're going to do some black light keys. Why not? Let's use five black light keys to end uh, end off today's show. Uh, here's here's the mount. If I didn't show that, I'm sorry. I got a little confused at the end here. I'm a little tired. Okay, I'm tired. Um, here's the glider. The chair, too. They also had the Duena's skins in there. They have the Dragon's Jade skins, which I really like. They had the Glyph of the Crucible, which is okay. Um, the Glyph of Volatility, which is a bit better. And then they have Ori Calcum Mining Node, which is pretty good. I'm not very meh, but they have the Advanced Leather and Cloth Racks, which are pretty good in this day and age. Again, they have the envelopes. But with some keys here, I don't think I have any other keys. So we're just going to open five of these really quick to see if we can get anything good out of them. Um, you know, just... I appreciate you guys. So, Nimbus! Exactly. Let's go. Let's open some of these. Eh, it's all right. A utility primer. Not bad. There's the Tempest Gaze skin. Not bad. What else we get in here? What else we get in? Oh, an extractor to make up for the one I had to use. And a metabolic primer. Wasn't expecting to get the mount... I don't know. I haven't had luck with that, but, you know, there it is. Got to scrap that. Five of these envelopes. Let's open them. What, what do we get? Anything good? Three gold there. One gold. Four gold. One gold. Okay. Not bad. Ah. I'm actually pretty satisfied with those five keys. 
Getting the Tempest again. Daily reset is upon it. Let's pull all that out. Five more statuettes. Remember, you can get that Black Lion booster with these statuettes. Um, it is one statuette per. That's actually pretty good for that extra extra 100% magic find. So one statuette's all you need. There you go. Lamb Chop, thank you for the keys. For, uh, for that. Those keys were actually... I got I got a pretty good money's worth from those keys. Oh, wait. I have a die here. Hold on. Wentz Winter die? Ah, oh, we didn't get anything good. Surprise, surprise there. <laughs> My luck with dies is probably the worst I've seen from, from other openings I've watched. Other people are like... They pull out like 10 dies and they... 6 rares. And I'm like... I open 20 dies and get... <laughs> get like 3... <laughs> And someone pointed that out, and I was just like, look, we don't talk about the dice, but it's there. If you want to go that route. Okay. Um, but anyways, we got to end the show. I appreciate everybody. You got Nimbus? I'm not jealous. All right, I got lightning eyes. I like this skin. Oh my God. One, one eye is dark, and the other one's glowing. What happened? It's broken. It's broken on this character. Hold on. You can die it? Hold on. Hold on. Can you die this? <gasps> you can die it. Thank you, Midian, for being here. My mods, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody who came in. Donkey Ball Z. Hey, shout out to Donkey Ball Z. <laughs> um, I wonder what you can do with this. Is each one each eye? Oh, bottom and top. Yeah, you can do different colors on each side. Ooh, that's cool. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted right now. Shiny things. Worth. Where it's, hey, if you made it to the end, you saw Black Lion Chest opening, <laughs> which we haven't done for a while. There it is. There it is. We didn't get any wardrobe unlocks, but hey, that's fine. That's fine. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Going to do my dailies and stuff. We've got guild missions, not guildies. That is the end of today's show. I appreciate all of you. Mods, thank you. I'm still trying to work on this green screen. I have no idea why it struggles so much lately does okay 963 percent magic fine 676 envelopes plus 1100 gold um great day great day that's over <laughs> i just want you to know that's over 500 gold per hour just here on the show today uh with that kind of stuff three accounts to reach those envelopes i'll be opening again 24 more envelopes plus I uh, got the three in the guild hall for accommodations and things like that. And we'll do the celestial event one more time. I say we, but I will be doing it. Um, so I may get 30 something more envelopes. But again, by opening with the, with the magic find I just have right now would still profit me more than likely. So definitely worth it. Was there anything else? Weekly rewards. Don't forget them. You already hit the subscribe button. I thank you. And the like button. I appreciate that. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Exalted event. DRMs. Dragon response missions. Make sure you get in there. Turn in your five uh, accommodation token things uh, for whatever reason. And get the, the global loot thing that they have. That's easy boosters, banners, and things like that. Stuff you probably don't need. But um, it's free stuff. And it's pretty cheap to do it. So... Um, do that. That's it. We're done. Slash wiki magic find. If you want to look up what we did today, that's where I looked it up. That's where I did it. So, um, I, I, I think we can just end. Sorry, right, it went over two hours, but I think it was worth it. As always, I leave you with this. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. For all we got. Have a great night, day, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Make it great. If you're going to bed, sleep well, get that rest. We'll need it. Trust me. If I don't see you for the rest of the week, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your February. It's almost done. Wow. What happened? Enjoy your rest of your 2021. Stay healthy out there. Stay salty. What you got to do. And be kind to people. All right? 
I'll see you guys uh, whenever I do the next video live here talking about the future of this channel and uh, or on Twitch. Go find me. Bye. <laughs>